All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And boy, do I have a good one for us today. So you've heard me talk a lot about eSun on this channel and a lot of different types of filaments and everything like that. And our friends over at eSun actually reached out to me to try out a brand new filament that they have coming up. As a matter of fact, you can't even order it in the US right now but I was able to get my hands on it. And today we'll be taking a look at this. This is E-ABS high speed. So this is ABS meant for high speed printing, but that's not the only cool thing about this filament. So we'll go over all of the procedures today in order to print with this filament and get everything ready. We'll go ahead and calibrate our printer with this filament, and then we'll go ahead and do a test print. Um, so if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right. So here we are on eSun's website and here is, um, all of the information on this eABS high speed, um, so a couple of things that I found uh, super interesting about this is it contains low VOC resulting in a reduced odor during the printing process. So we'll, um, I'll let you know how that does. I don't have anything official for smell or anything like that to put a number around it, but I do know how much um, the other ABS that I've printed in the printer smells. And we'll see if it smells any more or less, or if I can even tell a difference. And I'll let you know if I can tell a difference or not. Um, but that's not the only thing that's cool. Let's go through the rest of the stuff here. <clears throat> As you can see, um, bulk purchasing and inquiry, I think in Asia and um, is the only place that you can get it. Maybe Europe, but I don't think you can get quite get this in the U.S. right now. You'll need to um, hit this inquiry button right here in order to get it as they uh, get everything ramped up here. But I do believe they're getting ready to launch it in the U.S. Um, so first thing, low VOC, low odor, right, which is cool. Low shrinkage rate. So those of us that are worried about warping, um, looks like they're trying to address that with this filament. It's meant for high speed printers like that. We can polish it with acetone, excellent printability, but still that's not the thing that I found very, very interesting here as well. And something that we will definitely be testing. Um, the one thing with all of the ABS that I've printed from other manufacturers, you've had to dry the filament. And with this filament, it actually says it doesn't need drying, does need a heated bed. Um, it does show like it needs a enclosure, um, <clears throat> recommended build surfaces, all of that stuff, but it doesn't say that it needs drying, which is different than other filaments that, um, or other ABS filaments that we've tested on this channel. Um, so I thought that was super interesting. That saves, um, you know, eight hours of my printer being hung up, um, you know, drying filament. So we'll see if right out of the box, I'm going to take this right out of the box and print with it. We're not going to dry with it. We're not going to prep it at all. We'll follow all of these settings here. Um, in the studio, we'll see here in a minute. I'm just going to leave that on generic settings and we'll do the calibration and see what happens from there. Um, but as you can see, we don't need to dry it. It's uh, impact resistant, heat resistant. Um, so this would be good for, um, you know, lots of different use cases and everything. So let's jump into studio and let's go ahead and start getting um, this thing calibrated. All right, here we are in studio. And as you can see in the first slot right here, we have the generic ABS. So when I loaded it for manufacturer, I put generic for a uh, filament type. I put ABS. I changed the color to this natural white color or whatever. And then I hit confirm. I didn't change anything in the brand or the K value or any of that stuff. That's what we'll be doing next here. 
Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started on the calibration. So the first calibration that we'll do is flow dynamics and we will be using the high temperature plate since we are using generic ABS. And as you can see here, <clears throat> we have um, just all the generic settings. I'm not gonna change any of this. Um, if anything messes up, we'll go back in here and, and change it, change stuff, but we're gonna leave everything <clears throat> just like it is in here. All right, so let's go to calibration. We'll go to auto calibration. We're using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. We're using the high temperature plate and we'll just be um, <clears throat> testing the generic ABS, which won't take very long at all. So let's go ahead and hit calibrate and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so as you can see, it's done with the first test. So we'll go ahead and hit next. <clears throat> and it has a K factor or factor K of 0 0.028. And then we'll go ahead and name this E Sun ABS. So that will send it to the printer so that every time I load this E Sun ABS, and we'll even name it high speed here. <clears throat> I can just click this and it'll go ahead and insert that K factor for me. So let's go ahead and hit finish. And as you can see, it's been saved to the printer. And now let's go down to flow rate. <clears throat> Same thing here. We're going to do the auto calibration 0.4 millimeter. And we are using the high temperature plate and we're using this generic ABS. So we'll go ahead and hit calibrate and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so flow rate calibration is done. So let's see what happened there. So we have a flow rate of 1.128 and we'll save the filament preset as E sum ABS high speed and we'll click finish and this has been saved to the preset. <clears throat> so if you remember, now we have eSun ABS high speed. And if you remember before, this just said generic ABS until we did that second flow rate calibration. And then we'll see in the flow ratio 1.128, which was the flow ratio that we got from the calibration. So now that that's done, let me get the sample set up and we'll go ahead and do our first test print. All right, so as you can see here, we have our sample loaded in here. And we'll go ahead and click on it. And I'm just going to push the number one on my keypad. And that will select the ESUN ABS high speed since that is in slot number one. And we'll go ahead and slice it. And it looks like it'll take about 30 minutes. And we'll go ahead and hit print. We don't need to do the flow dynamic calibration because we already did that and we already saved it to everything. So that'll save us a couple minutes out of the print. So um, this one we'll do in normal speed. So we'll go ahead and send it to the printer here. And when it switches over, I'll show you which speed that we'll print this one in and then we'll print another one in high speed. So for right now, we're gonna leave this at 100. And then on the second one, we'll put it into sport mode for higher speed up to 300 millimeters squared per second or whatever that techno babble is. So once this is done, I'll see you back over here. All right, now that the print's done, I went ahead and take, took it out. So now let's go ahead and print it again. And now let's do it at 124% or sport mode. And let's see how that turns out. So we'll go ahead and send this to the printer. And now that we've gone to the device page, I'll go ahead and click on here and click sport mode. And then I can just click anywhere off of here. And when it starts printing, this will change to 124. And uh, we'll print it at the higher speed and we'll see how it does with that. All 
right, so now we're done with all of the printing and calibration. And I want to take this uh, chance to remind everybody that eSun did send me all of this stuff for free. But they haven't had any editorial control over this video or they, and they haven't compensated me in any way. So let's get back to our tips and tricks for ABS printing in general and go over those. Um, and we definitely followed all of that stuff here. Um, well ventilated area. We'll talk about the low VOCs here in just a minute, but with all ABS materials, you definitely want to have a well ventilated area, a consistent temperature, heated bed, and an enclosure, which we did have all of that stuff. So how did it stack up to all of the claims that it made on its website? So the first one that we thought was interesting was the low VOC, the low smell test on it. And I will say that it doesn't smell as much as my other ABS, but it's not a giant difference. It's not like it doesn't smell at all. So it still does have a little bit of a smell and you do need to uh, make sure that you have a well ventilated area. And again, I have a window just right over there that I do crack when I'm printing these type of materials. The second claim was for high speed and it didn't um, claim, you know, the super high speeds as like the uh, bamboo lab, but as for the kitty tech, right? That would be the same speeds as that, although I didn't print it on there. We did it on sport mode, which is probably right around in that area. And this is the one that it did in sport mode. This is the one that it did in normal mode. There's not really a difference in them at all. Even if you feel the sides of them, um, there's really no difference in, all, in these at all. So printing at a little bit higher speed here, <clears throat> printed at the same quality as this here. So there are claims about being higher speed filament for at least that portion of it were correct. I haven't had an issue with printing normal eSun filament, the normal PLA and PLA plus that they offer. I haven't had any issues printing that um, in higher speed modes either. Now the last one for no drying, um, generally you will see the print kind of mess up um, if there's too much you know, moisture in ABS or ASA or carbon fiber or any of these filaments that do draw in moisture to them. So whenever you print with them, you will see a little bit of um, a disturbance in there if you don't dry it. And I know this firsthand because I've tried to print these things without drying them before. And uh, it kind of sort of works, but you can see much better print quality with drying with them. Um, so the claim did not have to dry. This was true. Um, I will say that the print quality, even in the high speed here, uh, there's no gaps, there's no rough spots or anything like that, which is some of the stuff that you will find. Even when I leave ABS in the uh, AMS for a long period of time, with the desiccant in there, with it being controlled and all of that, um, it still does start to mess up after a while and you do need to re-dry it. This didn't, um, up to this point, and it didn't need to dry at all. So I thought that was awesome um, for that. So I would recommend it. Um, I hope that they start to come out with some more colors. It looks like they're still developing this filament and getting it in its final stages. Um, it, this is the only color that they have, but I would still recommend it um, because it does print at high speed. You don't have to dry it and it doesn't smell quite as bad as some of the other ABS that I've tested on here, although it's not a dramatic difference. So be sure to... Um, Go to eSun's website below that's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just a link for Simple Inquiry. They're trying to get the word out about this uh, type of filament. So be sure to register your inquiries with them and let them know that you would love to try out this filament and that we'd like to see some other colors. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and be sure that you hit the subscribe button button because next week we'll be blinging out our bamboo once again. You see, I got the gold chains out so you know what's coming next. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and don't miss next week's video. I hope you enjoyed this week's video um, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great week and I'll see everybody next week. Thanks. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.